We are back with a heartwarming yet concerning story unfolding at our local SPCA. There are more than a dozen dogs and cats that have been waiting for their forever homes far too long. And shelter staff are working tirelessly to find them the loving homes they deserve. 17's Megan Simpson now with more on the long timers that need a good home. We've got some that have been here over 400 days. So that's, you know, we're working on well over a year. And, you know, of course I want I want these pets to find a home as, as fast as possible. We don't want to keep them here that long. Among those in need of adoption are these three very active dogs. The shelter staff say are often overlooked by those that walk by their kennels. Some of our darker colored animals, like the darker browns and the blacks, they don't really adopt very well. Large, large dogs, large animals, especially if they're, you know, past the puppy stage, they also don't adopt very well. These three aren't alone in their extended stay. Meet Alice. Alice is a sweet pit bull mix that has spent countless days at the shelter. Staff has been working with her to make sure she is well behaved so she can find her match. But the shelter is the only place she has ever called home. It's not just pups. The SPCA has several long-term residents that have been waiting for their perfect home. Cats have their own personalities, you know, and sometimes they'll interact with, you know, our, our customers coming in, and sometimes they won't. They're a little on the shyer side. It takes a little bit more time to pull them out of their shell, and, you know, people don't really necessarily plan for that kind of time to spend here. These animals, along with several others, are part of a group that has become known as the Long Timers. Shelter volunteers and staff have put in extra effort to show case these cuties getting creative on social media in hopes they would catch the eye of someone looking to add to their family. We've spent the time with them and we've at least taught them some basic commands if they haven't already come in with that. Um, you know, if it's an older animal, they're past that rambunctious puppy stage. And again, we've also worked with them a bit. So you're going to get a pet that's got more of a calm temperament than a, you know, wild daredevil that you could possibly find in some of these pets. As the days turn into months, the chances of these loving animals finding a home get slimmer. We're very special in that we are a no-kill shelter, but obviously we don't want animals to live here forever. It's Not only will they be getting a loving and loyal companion, they'll also be giving an animal a second chance. Reporting with my SPCA rescue dog, I'm Megan Simpson, 17 News.